Hi, my name is Nico Varis. I'm the design manager of Mopar Design here in Product Design Office here in PDO. I'm going to take you through the 1971 Shakedown concept car for 2016 SEMA. Um, this is a pretty cool project here. Um, it, it's a combination of modern and historic uh, elements. Um, we took a 71 Challenger, Dodge Challenger body and infused the 2017 elements. Uh, so you can see the front lighting is uh, from a 2017 Challenger that was morphed into the 71 body uh, to give this modern feel. So the aura of the car is a pro Turing effect. So we wanted to put a, a modern engine and modern suspension and combined it uh, with an historic vehicle. Um, some of the cool features on the front is a front full width splitter. Uh, the wheels are slingshot Hellcat wheels. The front one was reduced in size by one inch. It's a 19 by nine and a half front wheel. Uh, and the rear is a, a stocked slingshot Hellcat wheel. It's a 20 by nine and a half. And it also has uh, six piston uh, Brembo brakes on it uh, up front, two piece rotors. Uh, so again, playing up that modern performance aspect of it. On the fender, we designed a really cool 392 crate uh, Mopar badge uh, that kind of is sympathetic with the modern powertrain. So it's kind of a nice little detail on the side of the vehicle. Also to point out, there's uh, an offset asymmetrical stripe that runs from nose to tail on this vehicle. Uh, we designed a cool shakedown badge that goes on top of the historic 1971 shaker scoop. So this scoop is a, a lot wider than our, our production scoop on a 2017 Challenger Shaker. If you notice the drip rail along the DLO, the door handles and the fuel doors all have been shaved off the vehicle to give this real clean appearance uh, and this modern feel. Around back uh, you can again see the 2017 tail lamp uh, from the Challenger. So uh, what's really cool about this is there is a split line that comes through the lamp on the 2017 vehicle. We got rid of that lamp, the deck lid stops above the lamp here, and we were able to get this seamless appearance with the, the signature lighting on the rear, the racetrack signature lighting. Uh, Mopar exhaust tips, powder coated in gloss black. And as we walk around the vehicle again, uh, I'll pop the, the door for you. And again, there's no door handle, so there's a key fob to open up the, uh, the door. Um, the interior is sports uh, Viper seats. Two Viper seats that are a custom trim by Catskin. It's got a Viper steering wheel. Uh, and it, again, this play on modern materials, modern components in this historic vehicle. So the shell of the vehicle, the interior is the same volume as the 1971. So there's, there's nothing that was changed volume wise or proportion wise on the interior, but all these modern elements were, were placed into the, the, the interior. So if you notice, the center console has an inlay of carbon fiber. The IP cluster has a, an inlay of carbon fiber and uh, black face Mopar gauges that are available uh, through Mopar. In case you're wondering where the fuel fill door was, we remoted it in the trunk with a fuel cell and that's where it is. And this is a 2016 SEMA shakedown concept car.